Hi, I'm Tim Leon. I'm the Director of Safety and Security for School District 51. The purpose of this video is to provide information to the parents and the community and ha to have a better understanding the work that we do here at School District 51 to ensure the safety of students and staff. Every day we work diligently to ensure that all our facilities are safe and secure for learning for all students. We work with local law enforcement, such as the police department, fire departments, and sheriff's department to ensure that all students and staff are safe. Being a school resource officer, you've got to have a passion for working with kids. It's not the easiest position to, to have as a police officer, but probably the most rewarding that you can do. Um, so the guys that get into this uh, line of work that want to work with kids, uh, it's daily challenging whether we're trying to uh, work with new administrators to try to get them to understand what a lockdown looks like and how it should function. But more importantly, it's developing partnerships with the adults, the kids, their parents, um, to see that law enforcement in a school is not because we have to in the Grand Valley, it's because we want to. The Grand Junction Fire Department works um, with School District 51 to ensure the safety of our uh, students. And importantly, what we do is work together hand in hand with fire drills, lockdown drills, and the public safety sector. Talking to kids, just one on one, just taking the time to um, listen to their problems and help them figure out solutions. And it's a lot of counseling more than anything, um, is what I find myself doing and just working through the problem with them. Lockdowns are called when there is potentially a threatening event in or around schools. Lockdowns offer a high level of protection to students and staff in the case of an emergency. Once a situation has been determined to be dangerous or threatening, the principal or other staff will call for a lockdown over the intercom system. Students and staff, lockdown. In most cases, school administrators and law enforcement will sweep the hallways to ensure students are in a safe area and doors are indeed locked. School District 51, there's not one school that doesn't believe in and work with uh, law enforcement and the security team for the district for doing lockdowns. Uh, a typical lockdown um, is anybody in the school can call a lockdown, any adult that sees anything that could be unsafe, they can call a lockdown. Once the lockdown is called, uh, all the teachers know that they're to stop everything, they're to get the kids on the floor, in a corner, and safe. From a fire aspect, if there's a fire in the school, our number one priority is life safety, getting the kids out. That's why we practice. Um, then we'll eliminate the threat or the fire, put out the fire. And if it's another kind of emergency, we'll work with the police department and the school district. And we've practiced that, so it's not a surprise when it happens. During every single lockdown drill, we have what's called a debrief afterwards. Um, we debrief and we talk about things that went well and things that didn't go well. And um, it's the same for law enforcement. I mean, practice makes perfect. And as long as we just keep practicing, then um, <clears throat> we'll learn more every time and just get more sufficient at it. Lockdown drills are performed on a regular basis to familiarize students with the proper procedures. The next important safety measure is shelter in place. This event is similar to a lockdown in a sense that all outside entrances remain locked during the entire course of the shelter in place. However, normal classroom instruction and activities may continue. Shelter in place, we're transitioning from lockdown to shelter in place, which means shelter in place is education can continue, but the doors stay locked. Um, and and those, the, the reason we go through that transition is things get fluid in the community. If we have inc incidents that are occurring, we need to keep them in a secure place until we're sure that whatever the incident is in the community is totally secure. And then school can be released back to its normal, normal day. The final safety procedure we will discuss today is an evacuation. School evacuations can occur in a variety of situations and circumstances, most often a fire drill. From a fire department standpoint during a fire drill, we try to look for a quick evacuation in a timely fashion, accountability for all the students, make sure all the students get out, and we work with the administration to make sure that happens. We have a goal to get everyone out of the school in a few minutes. Um, the school district has a policy in place and we just work with them to make sure it happens, but more importantly, make sure all the students get out in a safe manner. When we work with the school during a fire drill, 
We want to make sure it's a habit, so it happens several times a year. So it's second nature when it really does happen in real life. At the conclusion, there will be a debrief of the incident. This is to determine what worked well and what improvements may be needed to be made. There's always room for improvement. Every single drill we learn something is law enforcement and I think the school staff learned something. Well, as far as safety in uh, School District 51, I think they've taken a very proactive measure and attitude towards it. Uh, we get notified before the drills happen. Um, there is some expectation that we do show up. Uh, we work with the school district to make, the, make sure they work well and give feedback to the school district. One of the challenges we face in responding to emergency situations is communications with parents, students, and staff. During lockdowns, shelter in place, or evacuation scenarios, information is not always available. However, the district is committed to communicating when it is most appropriate and available. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see, School District 51 is constantly working on proving its safety and security at all our facilities, ensuring safety of our students and staff. We will continue to monitor all events, not only within the district, but across the country. We will continue to have our good partnerships with local agencies. And we would also ask that any concerns that the community may have concerning safety, feel free to contact the safety department here at School District 51, and we'd be able to answer those questions that you may have. Again, thank you for watching this video.